Hey, welcome to another uh, episode of Books That Kill. Uh, today I had a little difficulty finding the book, and not because it was you know difficult to find in a bookstore or online. Uh, it was difficult to find in my library. I was like walking around, and I usually organize all my books by according to height, or I but what the color of the spine is. I like to color cook. No. Anyway, it was just difficult to find in my library, and I usually keep all the you know, books about movies and special effects, you know, I divide them in little categories. But uh, anyway, this wasn't anywhere. I, I didn't see, it seemed to be uncategorized. But uh, the book I want to talk about is The Legendary Lidecker Brothers by Jan Allen Henderson. I don't know if it's Jan or Jan, but um, the foreword is by Michael H. Price, guy I used to know, used to be friends with. I, maybe I am still friends with him. We haven't talked in years. But um, the Lidecker or Lidecker brothers, however, it's, I don't know what you put the accents on. I don't know if it's Lidecker or Lidecker, but Howard and Theodore, they're two brothers. They did special effects. They built miniatures. They were amazing. They did like the Republic serials where they'd be like cliffhangers and uh, cars and trains. And they did um, special effects of, um, you know, like, uh, what was that? Fighting Tigers and uh, great war movies. And they did uh, Fair Winds to Java with the big ships with sails and that kind of stuff um but again i don't know if it's lidecker or lidecker you know it's like you know I, i'm i have this thing i don't even know how to pronounce names i remember like you know i read all the dune books you know the frank herbert dune and i thought i knew the names of the characters and then you, then you see the movie and i go oh is that how you pronounce that you know so i was just actually telling someone the other day when i was a kid um it was before star wars came out the alan dean foster book that uh he, you know, he goes ghost wrote for george lucas it was called the Star Wars or whatever Star Wars, and uh, my best friend had read it, and we didn't even know a movie was coming out. And he said, um, "Hey, you got to check out this character R two D two, you know." And then said we pronounce it R two D two, and then we get there and it's, it's R two D two. So, ah, it's a problem. Anyway, if you like special effects, if you like the old school way of doing things, uh, it, you can't get a cooler book than this. I love these guys. Let me see if I can find a photo of them. Um, you know, this is, in fact, this is them here. And they're holding up an, a giant airship for a Dick Tracy serial. Um, and the Fighting Devil Dogs, the Flying Wing. Th they're so influential on so many special effects people I know. And uh, they're just people that just love, you know, love movies. But if you go into IMDb, type their names and it's unbelievable. There's really not a whole lot on eBay. Um, or eBay. There's not a whole lot on... Uh, uh, what am I trying to say? Um, well, even like on, you know, when you Google something, there's not, on the internet, there's just not really a whole lot about them. There's some really great sites. There's a, you know, Pete's page about matte painting, which is an awesome, awesome page. Uh, I've got a bunch of images from there. And uh, actually, I just started uh, a Facebook group called the Lidecker Brothers. So if you if you want to join and find out a little bit more, you know I'm posting like little videos and things that they've done on there. It's you know I I want to find more people you know that had contact with. I mean I know these guys were back in the day and they're no longer around, but um, gosh you know the, I mean they should make statues to these people. I mean these guys were pioneers. They built their miniatures big, you know. So, like, I mean, it's like contradictory word, you know, big miniatures, but they did, and the stuff was awesome. So you should check out their films. Just go on IMDb and type in their names, and um, this is Commander Cody, uh, Commander Cody from, um, well, he was, like, no, remember Rocket Man? But, like, look at, look at, you know, these ships. I mean, these are miniatures, and uh, that's Fair Wind to Java. Um, look, at, I mean, they just amazing stuff now this is theodore or ted as they call him at work on a miniature there a handsome couple of guys uh oh and they did these robots you know you know for um uh, mysterious dr satan which i just watched all of the episodes now the thing is if you go to my facebook page for the light deck it's like a group for the light decker brothers uh, I got some videos, and I posted some of the serials where all the episodes are put together. It's pretty entertaining. Uh, I was really impressed at how it held up. Uh, I know you're probably going, oh my gosh, it's black and white. I can't take it, you know. But 
you'll dig it because there's really cool miniature special effects and big special effects and cliffhangers that make no sense because you'll see a car go off a bridge and crash in the canyon. There's no way the hero survived. But in the next episode, you see that, oh, he wasn't actually in the car, even though they showed him driving the car. Anyway, check it out. So that, Lightacre Brothers. Look for this book, The Legendary Lightacre Brothers. And that is another episode of Books That Kill.